<laughs> well, afternoon, friends. I got that phone kind of wedged up there on the uh, between the the dash and the window. I don't know how long it'll stay there. I tell you what, I'm not going to lie about it. I am one tired dude. I ain't no joke. I'm tired. <laughs> but I, it's all good. Uh, anyway, today is the day of the Israeli elections. And, um, of course, Seems like Netanyahu is fighting for his political life. I don't know. That that all could be just a show for all we know. But anyway, you never know when you're dealing with politics. <clears throat> but, you know, I want to answer a question. I had someone uh, say that... Um, want to know why I didn't make a video about that Noah Hyde law. Well, the main reason why I haven't made a video about it is because everybody else has made videos about it. And I mean, just, you know, how much more can you say about it? Uh, so, anyway... I, that, that's the main reason why I have it. So, but uh, from what I understand, you know, it's not going to be good if they if that thing ever gets, you know, widespread. You know that that's just going backwards, honestly. You know, Jesus come to set us free. And now these people, they're trying to go back basically to the Old Testament, it seems like. And you know, one thing to remember uh, is this, that the Bible says that this Antichrist, it says this in the Old Testament, that he will change times and laws. Well, you think of this. You know good and well that the reason we call this the year 2019 is because of the birth of Jesus Christ. And so by continuing to count the years of mankind on the earth by 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, you know, this is the year, in the year of our Lord. So every day that we say this is the year 2020, excuse me, 2019, we are acknowledging that Jesus Christ came into this earth and he, His birth changed the way that man keeps up with his years on this earth. So if these people are trying to go back to the this Noah Hyde law or whatever, Noah Hyde or but don't be surprised that when the Antichrist comes on the scene, he doesn't change the counting of the years. Because it, it says it's gonna happen. It says he will change time and laws you know he's going to change the way that man counts his years and on top of that he's going to change laws 
And from what I understand, uh, according to this this Noahide law stuff, uh, if you break any of their rules or regulations, that it's a capital offense punishable by beheadings. Well, of course, that don't surprise me at all because the Bible plainly says that those who hold on to the testimony of Jesus Christ love not their lives unto the death. Well, and then a few verses or a few chapters over, it tells us how they they die. It said, I saw the souls of those that had been beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and they loved not their lives unto death. And here we are looking at the Jewish people over there trying to bring forth something that they can behead people. And don't think for one minute that those who are who claim to be Jews or who claim to be you know of the tribe or of the family of the patriarchs don't think for one minute that that they don't want to get rid of us Christians because they're not going to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior so they will accept another man to be their Lord and Savior. You know, you can't have uh, you can't have two two lords. You can't serve two gods. Jesus said that. So these people are going to be given a choice: Are they going to follow Jesus or follow this false Messiah? Are they going to do the same thing like? Like they did when uh, when Jesus stood before them. He said, do you want Jesus or do you want Barabbas? Oh, give us Barabbas. We don't want Jesus. Give us Barabbas. Well, what do you want me to do with Jesus? And they started shouting, crucify. It's the same way now. Do you want to accept Jesus? Or do you want to accept this man, this false prophet, this substitute for Christ, this one who is against Christ? Yeah, that's the one we want. We want him. We don't want Jesus. We, we, want, we want the substitute. We don't want the real thing. We want the substitute. So, it, it is because it, their hearts are evil and they're blinded. Bible plainly says that God has blinded the the uh, the Jewish people, but there's coming a day when God's going to take their blinders off, and they're going to see clearly that Jesus Christ is their Messiah. <clears throat> well. Guys, let me tell you something. And you know, it, it really don't matter, honestly. It really don't matter. It is aggravating to me, but you know, while I was at work, I saw that I picked up four new subscribers. And I just checked now before I cranked up the car and left, I've lost three of the four. <laughs> or lost three other ones. And you know, that, that that is just so aggravating. You pick up four, and then six hours later, you back down. You, you've lost three, so now you're net one. You know, uh, I could sh you could see a chart of the subscribers... And it is just a slowly 
a slow descent. You know, you pick up five, you lose six. You know, it's like that, that old saying, one step forward, two steps back. Three step forward, four steps back. Oh, you're, you're gaining ground, but you're losing just a little more ground than you're gaining. So, it's just aggravating. It, it really is. And, um, you know, it really started... It really started uh, about the time that, about a year ago, honestly, I know I made quite a few very, well, I shouldn't say very political, but I know I made some videos that was pro-Trump, and um, I don't know, I think that flagged uh, my channel that I'm a patriot. Or, or uh, what, what, what did they? I'm, I'm a freedom. I don't know. I can't remember the right word that, that they use. Plus, I'm tired, sleepy. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. I, I'm a nationalist. <laughs> I'm definitely not a globalist. So, but I mean, I just hate that that's happening. But that, that's all fine. And then, of course, you know, I know that I lost subscribers anytime I you know I preach on or teach on anything that that ruffles a few feathers those that get their feathers ruffled they they fly away <laughs> they fly away so and then of course when I started sure enough trying to help Miss Cookie that dear sweet lady I mean I even had some people tell me you know Hey, so, you know, we're just tired of hearing about Miss Cookie. And that's so sad. She is one of the sweetest ladies. And um, she's really doing a good thing for those. But So, you know, I'll lose people that way. Maybe, maybe they'll come home like prodigal children. You know, I've lost a thousand subscribers. And uh, I was at 10,500. Now I'm at... 9,500. I reckon, uh, I don't know, at this rate. Oh, gosh. I'll, um, well, um, I reckon at this rate, give me uh, six months, I'll be done lost another thousand. But anyway, I'm just playing my violin, you know, just, just sing me a sad song, Asa, sing me a sad song, I've lost a subscriber today, <laughs> I've lost a subscriber today, YouTube steals them as fast as I can get them, I've lost a subscriber today. We're just trying to get people saved. YouTube says that ain't the way. We're going to take your subscribers so they can't hear the truth. I lost a subscriber today. <laughs> I mean, you know, what can you say? You know, they're, they're going to do what they want to do. Well, anyway, I've told y'all about my backup channel, Faith in the Word. So, um, if y'all would, go over there and subscribe to that channel, by golly. It's got 58 subscribers right now. That sure ain't enough to cause any damage to good old YouTube. So, but yeah, if y'all would, subscribe to this channel. I mean, because, you know, if I had 100 people subscribe in one day... I'd lose 110 the next day. So maybe the best thing is do is not to have no subscribers subscribing and then maybe they'll only take one or two away from me a day. So, well, I'm home, dear friends. I'm going to upload this video. 
And then I'm going to call it a day and get up early in the morning refreshed and see how the uh, the Israeli elections went. And hopefully we won't have no more outbreaks of conflict uh, through the night and through the day. Because friends, let me tell you, we're fixing to go home. We are about to go home. I believe that. I really do. I believe we are soon to go home. And let me see how to get out this boy's car. Excuse me a second. Uh, anyway, y'all have a most wonderful, blessed day. And um, give me some feedback. Do, do you even, I mean, tell me, do, do you like... Uh, the way that I'm doing the news reports, do you like the way um, I'm doing Bible studies? Give me some feedback. What What do you want me and for Christ to do? What type of videos? How can I make my channel more appealing to get people to come watch that they can hear the gospel? Not some watered-down doctrine but hear it straight from God's Word. I'd love to hear from y'all. Well, I am going to be looking in the comments. I would love to see some good, wholesome comments and suggestions on how I can make this channel better. God bless you and have a blessed day.